So now that we've got a file open, we probably want to read it in, see what we've got. So there are a couple of ways we can look at a file, um, line by line or the whole file. We're going to start with the whole file um, for a number of reasons. One is just so you can see that we've got a whole file here. Um, you'll have to decide which way you open a file based on the problem you're trying to solve. Um, opening the entire file won't always allow you to solve every problem. Um, so that's just kind of a caveat going into it. So we've got our file here, Bubba the file handler. Um, so I'm not typing quite so much. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Bubba here and just make it file handler. Again, it's just a variable name, doesn't matter a whole lot. You just want it to be a name that makes sense so that you know what you're dealing with. Um, now that I've got this file handler, what I need is a variable to actually hold the entire file. So I'm gonna create open file. That's a, again, it's just a variable, could have called it you know, B's really cool variable. Um, and the idea here is I want to take the whole text file that is this alice.txt, and I want to put the whole text file into this variable. Um, so this variable will hold all of those words as one big long string. So the way we do that is, is uh, reading it. Uh, there's a read method. So we'll just take the, open, we'll take the file handler dot read. Use our read method. That will read the file in, and then we just print to see what we got. All right, and uh, I'll go ahead and move this over so you can see this as it, as it prints out here. And look at that. And it's the entirety of Alice in Wonderland, the Gutenberg text. Um, so if you've been thinking lately that you needed to read Alice in Wonderland, there's your big chance. It's all right there, easy to read. But as you can see, there's no practical limit to how large of a file uh, we can read in as a string. Um, now, obviously, there are limits depending on machines and intention and all that. But for the point of this class, um, you're not going to run into any of those limits. So I've just taken the entire file and I've put it inside this open file variable. Now I have a variable that's this huge long string and I can treat it just like any other string. All of the stuff that we learned about strings um, can be applied to this whole file now. And we'll talk about a few of those here in the next video.